What is wrong with her aside from the obvious? Not that it's any of your business, mother, but Charlie's looking for the last decapitated blondie doll head. She claims it's the crown jewel of her collection. You're both sick, you know that? Ha! <laughs> Come to mama, doll face. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Charlie. I know that particular head means so much to you. I'd ask, but I'm afraid to. Oh, go on. I don't mind telling you. This one's my favorite, because she looks the most like Sheridan Crane. Or she did. Oh, boy, you should have seen her. She had the same color eyes, the same shade of hair, and porcelain white skin. That was before I gave her the acid wash. Real one, Bethy. She deserves to die. Nobody hurts my best friend and gets away with it. Not with me around. <laughs> they got it all planned out, honey. Once we kill the bimbo, you and I go on the lamb. Any place you say will be paradise. As long as I'm with you. Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm would never ring. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to us? Maybe it is a bad idea to, to kill Sheridan. What did you say? I, I changed my mind, Charlie. I don't think it's a good idea to kill Sheridan. What? <laughs> praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My baby has seen the light! <laughs> You said we were going to off Sheridan. Um, I rethought the plan. Without me. I thought we were partners, your soulmates. We both hate all the blonde bitches, and especially her, because she did something to hurt you. What was it anyway? I mean, you never actually uh, spelled it out. Um, don't worry about it, Charlie. It doesn't matter anymore. Buster! My baby has finally seen the light! She has taken the hands of the righteous angels and they swoop Shut down up, to guide her! I haven't taken anyone's hand, much less any swooping angels. Oh, but wait, I, I thought you said you were I considered. said that I changed my mind about killing Sheridan right now, that's all. There are plenty of other ways to get rid of her, and that's what I intend. We're not going to kill Sheridan. And what are you going to do? I still say we iced the bimbo. Look, this is about more than Sheridan Crane. It's about every big boob blonde who ever got a free ride through life. Killing Sheridan Crane is not just for fun. It's a matter of principle. OK, calm down, Charlie. We're still going to get our revenge, OK? Yeah. Power to the brunettes. Long live the homely girls. Right. Nothing has changed as far as that goes, okay? But let me explain why um, I think murder's a bad idea right now. There are some things about Sheridan that you just, you don't know yet. That's what I've been asking you. You never told me why you hate her so much. Yeah, tell her, Beth. That is not the point. It, the point is, um, Sheridan, and this guy, Luis, 
They're very close. So what? He's just a dumb man. Who also happens to be a cop. So, if we do something to hurt Sheridan, he's gonna be on it like a dog with a bone. He's gonna go after the killers until he tracks them down. Cops can be fooled. No, 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 not Luis. He's really, really smart. No sweat. We can still knock off Sheridan. All we gotta do is kill this Luis guy. The world would be better off without men, especially the ones who pant of those 34D blondes. So I don't care if this guy is the police or the president himself. I'm gonna track him down and wipe him off the face of the earth. One less macho man to give the real goddesses like you and me a hard time. No, don't you dare touch Luis. Why not? He's the real enemy, Beth. Don't tell me you like this jerk. No. No. God, of course not. Uh, Luis has nothing to do with it, okay? The reason that we can't kill him is if we did, then his fellow cops would just work around the clock to find whoever did it. Yeah, you do seem to stick together. Uh, yeah. But I still say we're making a mondo mistake if we don't wait Sheridan. No, I'm not saying that we're never gonna kill Sheridan, okay? Just not right now. We have got to be extra sure that they don't connect her death to us, all right? Look, um, it's late, okay? Why don't we just talk about this in the morning, all right? You go home, you get a good night's rest, and we'll see each other tomorrow. You're making a big mistake if you don't get rid of her permanently. Beth's perfect in every way. But she's soft on some things. You have to die, Sharon. Beth's just got a case of cold feet. Yeah, once I tell her I've taken care of Sheridan Crane for good, she'll be glad I did it without her. Yeah, she'll thank me for doing the thing she didn't have the nerve to do by herself. Can't be. Can it? <gasps> Talk about fate! Blow me down. This was obviously meant to be. <laughs> Even Beth would understand why I had to kill Sheridan tonight. This is just too delicious an opportunity to ignore. What am I going to do? How am I going to sort through my life without hurting innocent people? Please, God, help me. You are so dead, and you deserve it for what you did to my Beth. <laughs> <laughs>